I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a circuit workout. We have four circuits, six exercises in each circuit. Each exercise has a core, balance, or ab element. Working your core as we get older is super important. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Let's go. Let's start to move. Let's get the blood flowing. Bring those knees up, hold the abs tight. I'm gonna be saying that a lot during this workout. I want you to hold your abs nice and tight while you keep breathing. Now there's a trick to that. It's not easy, you'll wanna hold your breath. I want you to focus on breathing, but nice and tight, hold them tight. Reaching up and over. Now, bring it across, kind of a swimming motion, abs tight. Couple more. Now, knees up, twist. Twisting it into moving up the body, starting to work this core a little bit more, bringing the blood into that area. So no equipment for this workout. I do have a chair. A couple of these we'll use a chair for. Now step and tap behind, really twist from the waist. Twist, a little bend there. And get ready for our first move. Standing in a staggered stance, arms up. It's a boxing move. One, two, three, ready, front arm. One, back arm, two, three. Squat and stand or one, two, three, little bend, and up. One, twist, right there. Feel the abs work. One, twist it out, down and up. One, two, three, little bend, up. One, two, three, abs tight, up. One, two, three, down, switch it. One, two, three, down and up. One, two, three, down and up. Back arm. Follow through the hip with it. Sorry, I'm set punch. And up. One, two, three. There we go. Down and up. Give me one more. One, two, three. Down and up. Good job. Okay, so take that squat out if the knees bother you. If you have pain, I don't want you pushing through that, okay? A little bend, nice and tight. That'll work. We're going to squat with a little roundhouse kick here. Here we go. Down, pull the abs, lower abs tight, and around. Down, nice and tight, up and around. Now these don't have to be high. You can come up nice and high, do it, but you need to stay low here. You're still engaging that lower ab right there. Pull it tight. Down and up, around, or a little bend abs tight, up and around. Still gonna get benefit. Up, bring it around. Up, up and around. Had requests for workouts that work core balance and abs. So that's what we have every single move. Okay, trying to make it fun though, trying to keep it, you know, all standing so that really everybody can do this workout. So watch this, follow me. You're gonna have a toe back, okay? We're gonna hinge forward on one leg, hold the abs tight, reaching out and balancing. Here we go. So it's hold, see, I lost my balance right there. Hold them tight. Breathe, and up, nice and tight. Standing leg's gonna feel this. The glutes, which are part of your core. Your backside is as much a part as the front. Hold those abs tight. Balance. As you do a few, you're gonna find it's a little easier. Your body recognizes what you're doing. The stabilizers have figured it out. Those are the little muscles that keep you upright. If the balance way up here becomes too much though, you can keep a toe down, abs tight, right there, okay? Let's go to the other side. Deep breath, 15 seconds is not a lot of time to rest. If you need longer rest,
stop a little bit before. You'll watch the clock in the corner. You can see. Give yourself an extra five, 10 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Reaching out, balance. First one's really hard. And up. Reach out, balance. And up. I'm holding my abs tight. That's how I'm keeping from falling over. <sighs> these, these muscles work all day long for us. And if we train them to be stronger, as we get older, I'm sure you can understand the benefit in that. As we get older, our bones are not as strong. We don't want to fall. Often a fall really precipitates for older people poor health. And, you know, we want to avoid that as much as we can. All right, grabbing our chair or a coffee table or a wall. We're just going to do a raised plank right here. Feet wide is a little easier. Tap the shoulder, hand down. Tap. Now you are going to feel during this tap the abs and core really engage. Now if you're up here, you're not going to feel that, okay? So I want you to make sure you're nice and flat. I say like an iron board, not a mountain. You can do this against a wall if it's too difficult. On a chair, just get a little bit of an angle so your feet are back from the wall and you're leaning in on your hands. Stay with me. And rest. Okay. Move in our chair. I want you to get a little bit of speed with this one. One of my favorites is skater. Really work from the waist though. Twist, twist. I want you to feel it right there, okay? Get ready, we'll go to your right. Here we go. Twist, twist. Bring that toe back. The more movement, the higher your heart rate will get. But you're gonna have an elevated heart rate through this entire workout. If you wanna keep it steady state cardio, we call it, you can march between each exercise so you don't stop moving. But if you need the rest, take the rest. Abs tight here. Told you I'd say that a lot, this, this workout. Abs tight. Feel them? Feel that twist coming out of the waist? I hope so. Got a 30 second rest here. And rest. Good job. All right, first circuit's over, just like that. Moving on, we're gonna twist, and then we're gonna do a, a raise to the side. So it's twist, side raise. Twist, side raise. So you're getting the oblique, and you're getting that lower ab in a little bit of a crisscross position there. All right, deep breath. Twist from your shoulder. Make this big if you can. Ready? Twist it. Up. Twist. Now when you lift that leg, keep this body upright. All right? If you lean out of it, you take away that oblique right here. And we want to get that nice crunch right there. Twist. Lift. Again, you're going to feel your glutes. You've got to feel this hip area. That is a big part of core. Lift it up, twist, and lift. Wish you could see Jake right now. He's on the couch, which is right in front of the camera, and he is very much asleep, which is a great thing. Some of you who've been here a while know I have to edit on occasion because he gets a little mouthy. So let's hope, fingers crossed, he stays on the couch right where he's at. All right, we're gonna go right to the other side. You should feel a lot of warmth right here. You work that area. Other side, twist it, twist, and lift. And don't try and speed this up, finish your twist, and then your lift. Get the benefit of the twist and the benefit of the leg lift. Twist, and lift, twist, and lift, twist, lift, twist, lift. Talk to myself, <laughs> do that when I'm training clients too. <laughs> I'm counting in my head and I'm talking the move through as I do it. Lift, twist, and lift, twist, and 
lift one more. Twist. Lift one. Say if. One more here. There's two more, right? Sometimes I lie. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I hope you find what you want in this channel. If you've been here a while, I really appreciate you being here uh, with me, working together. All right, curtsy lunge. You're take your right leg back. Curtsy back, deeper knot, down, up, crunch right there. Or you're gonna come back a little bit, come up, do that oblique crunch. That knee is coming out to the side, right here. Side, all right, not in front. Not up here. You're here. Don't worry. We'll get that. We'll get those other ab muscles. Let's see. Come up. There we go. A little silly looking, I know. Feel that glute. You're getting that curtsy. Right there. You'll feel it. Even if you're higher here, you're going to feel that twist right there. Good. All right. Right on the other side. Deep breath. Heart rate's up. Yep. That's good. So we're going with your left leg back. In three, two, one. Here we go. Down. Bring it up. Give me that crunch to the side. Down and up. Crunch it. Feel it. Of course, be nice and warm. We're almost halfway through this workout with each exercise focused on that core area and balance. Whenever we lift the foot off the ground like this, you are balancing, you're working your stabilizers. So a lot of that in this workout. I think we can do a couple more. I'm not gonna say one more because last time I got two in. So let's try. I'm gonna finish the last one here. Up and up. Good. Okay, so now we're taking that crunch to the front. I'm going to hold my hands up in front of my chest, nice and close, rounding my back, pulling my tummy in. Pull it in and stand. And other leg. Here we go. Pull it tight, relax. Pull tight. So pretend you're walking by a mirror. What do we do when we walk by a mirror? We pull our tummy tight, right? That's what I want you to do here while rounding your back. Think about pulling that belly button to the spine. Pull it in. Not a huge range of motion here, but huge impact on your abs. Standing crunches. Keep going. Feel it. And rest. Nice. All right. So I'm going to hold my hands together. We're going to do a skater, but I want you to really swing those arms. So it looks like this. Swing it. It's going to help you get more of those inner obliques right in here. Deep breath. Hold it. We'll go to your right first. Here we go. Step, twist, step, twist. Feel that. A little different than warm up. We do not hold our hands together here. By holding them together, it's, you're going to force that rotation. Twist it out. Come on, stay with me. This one's tough, I know. 30 second rest coming. Keep breathing. second rest. Catch your breath. Up next, we have a side lunge or a side step. We're going to lunge over. That's tight. You're going to come up, kick with a cross punch, and you'll feel this right here. I want to pull it tight on that kick. Stay on the one side. If you're not doing a lunge, you're stepping out, coming in, still doing that kick with the opposite arm punching. Deep breath. 30 seconds goes quick. Ready or not? Here we go. Step it out. Over. In, abs tight, punch it. Feel that? In, and punch and kick. Or over, a little bend, punch and kick. Abs tight, hips tight, glutes working. Over, up, a little bonus, you get some inner thigh activity. That's another area. 
like to work. I know. Abs, arms, inner thigh, in that order. What I hear most often. And kick. Good. All right. Whew. Other side. Deep breath. Going in five seconds. Almost there. Here we go. Step it out. All right now. Here we are. Over. Bring it up. Punch and kick. It's the inside leg. It's the leg that moves into that lunge. Abs tight right there. Depending on what you did on the lunge on the other side, I'd like you to stay even. So perhaps you have one knee that you struggle with. That's what I want you to do on both sides, all right? Whatever your limitation is, you need to balance that. So we're developing the muscles in the same way. Finishing my kick there. There we go. All right. Whew. We are coming down. Getting what, it's like a deadlift. You're going to reach down, bend your knees, abs tight. Come down, bring it up, up on your toes, balance, all right, here we go. Reach down, bring it in, up on your toes, bend the knees, up on your toes. If bending deep here it is hard, keep your head above your heart, you can do more of a hinge right there. Just don't put your head down here, okay, we've got our heart rate up, that made me a little dizzy doing that. I don't want you to get dizzy. Abs tight. Balance. 10 more seconds, come on. One more. Finish it with me, come on, finish. Up, good. Okay, we're gonna take your right arm, right arm, you're gonna cross punch, twist with me, bring it in, kick well. Right there, kick it low. Low oblique work, low glute, low abs. Get ready, here we go. Over, in, balance and kick. Cross punch, in, kick it. Now I like to throw that arm out with the leg. That helps with my balance. So you find what works for you. If keeping right here is easier. As long as you're balancing, holding your abs tight, and getting the move in, Getting the benefit. Hold them tight though, you've got to focus on that. Kickboxing, there's a few kickboxing videos on the channel. It's a lot of fun and is a great core workout. So that's what you're looking for. More core work. Check out the kickboxing or check out the playlist for core and abs. All right, deep breath in and out. How we doing? We're in the third circuit. We only have four. Only a couple more here. Cross punch. Ready? Punch it out. Bring it in. Kick. Twist. Abs tight. Kick. Feel them. Squeeze the glutes right there too. Over. And kick. Feel the abs. They should be nice and warm. They should be talking to you. And they've been working hard, because they have. <laughs> Halfway through this one, come on. Puffing and puffing. Are you breathing a little heavy? I know I am. And rest. Nice. Okay. Deep breath. We're going to go wide with our feet. I want you to have your toes facing forward. We're rocking side to side with an uppercut, so we keep a 45 degree angle in that elbow. We'll go with your right arm first. Don't bend the knees too much if that bothers you. Twist, abs tight here. You're twisting from the top. Twist. Or you're up here. Twist. You're still getting that twist. Feel that rotation, right? You can bring it down a little bit. Go for that right here. Twist and punch. Oh, 
Hold them tight, hold them tight. Remember, that's how we work them. That's how we train them. Because what do we want them to do? We want them to suck in, right? So train them to do that. Suck them in. And breathe. And that's 30 second rest. This is it. We got one more circuit. We're going to start with the chair. I have two options for you here. All right? We are going to go back into that high plank. You can do this on the wall again. In the high plank, I'm going to have my feet together. You can go wide, but we are doing a leg lift and down, and then we'll do the other side. I find with my feet together, my balance is a little better, but you figure out where it works for you. Get ready. Here we go. Nice flat back, calves tight, lift, lower. Bonus, you're getting some chest and shoulder here, and you're getting glutes. Wow, you're planking. One more, abs tight. Feel them? You feel them? I want you to feel them. I want you to hold them tight, make them work. Let the balance stabilizers work here too. You don't feel those working necessarily. That's what's keeping you balanced while you lift this foot. Okay, so now you're going to be able to use a coffee table, the arm of a couch, I'm going to use my chair. I'm going to come putting a hand on whatever surface is your balance, the outside, okay, arm and leg. I'm going to reach out, ready, crunch with me. Crunch. And reach. Nice and slow. Pull those abs tight and then extend. Round your back here. And this is flat back, not arched, okay? You don't need to kick high. You do need to hold the hips square. So what I mean is you don't lift like that. Hips stay square to the ground. They don't move. It's all abs and glutes. Crunch it and kick it. Feel that standing leg is burning too. And good. That was a hard one. I know. Rest. Go to the other side. The key to setup here is to remember this: your outside arm and leg, same arm and leg, working together. Deep breath. Ready to go? Here it is. Hips square. Round your back. Pull it tight. Relax. Pull it tight. Relax. Stay with me. Hardest one, I think, this entire program right here. Balance, 
You want to work your balance more, you can very lightly hold or even, if you're more advanced, go without holding on. You'll feel wobbly. My clients say, oh, I feel so wobbly. It's like, that's good. Your muscles have to work in response to that wobble. <laughs> You have to hold you up, right? You have to grab on. <laughs> grab on. I forgot. I wasn't keeping my weight bent, was I? I was trying to make it easier on myself. And rest. Good. Okay. This one's tough, I know. But this is the end. We are on, yes, final, final exercise. Ready? Bending that knee, remember. Reach it out. Going for the crunch. Here we go. Crunch, and it stays bent, foot towards the ceiling. Hips square, right? Only go as far as you can without lifting these hips. Feel the body work, work in the core, work in the back, work in the abs, glutes. I'm gonna try not to cheat here, I can do on the other one. Good, stay with me, come on. 10 more seconds, you've got this. Whoo, there it is, okay, who thought that? No weight, not using any weight, just body weight, no jumping. But, do you feel like you're kind of sweating a little bit? I do, glistening for sure. All right, let's use our chair. I'm gonna get a nice stretch here. I'm going to go ahead, hands on your chair, feet shoulder width apart, a little bend in the knees, just round the back, relax your neck here, pull the belly button to your spine, nice breathing, we're going to flatten and round the back the other way, we'll lift the head up out of the neck, neck up out of the shoulders, you're going to feel the back of the legs stretch here as well, take a deep breath, exhale, Round it again, you'll probably feel this loosen up already. Hold this, hold it, hold it, breathe. And relax. Roll it on up. Go ahead and grab your chair. You did a lot of glutes. I want you to put one foot forward, one back. Stretching the back of the hamstring also comes up into the, the back glute area. Let's go to the other side. Work our way up the body here. So one foot forward, one back. You're gonna bend your front knee, drive this outer hip forward. Keep these square, don't lift. I want you to feel this right in here. The crunching, we're working the hip towards us a lot. So now we're gonna stretch it the other direction. Nice hip flexor stretch have hip pain, this is a really nice stretch once you're warmed up. I find, because I do have hip pain, it really helps. Drive it forward, shoulders up, weight out of this knee. You're not putting weight in that knee. The weight is driving through the back foot here. Wide to start, I want you to reach over and stretch. So you feel this all up the side of the body. Come on up, take the outside foot, put it over the inside foot. If this is too much of a stretch, you can keep the feet shoulder width apart like we had them for the first stretch here. But if you can, this will get you a little deeper, try and reach the arm back. How do you feel? $3 a day. Coach women to be successful in their diet and their exercise plan. If you're interested in talking to me about that, there is a link below the video in the description area. One of the things we really work on is balance, balance and core. And a lot of women need standing core exercises. 
So this is going to be a great 30 minute video for them and you because you don't need to do crunches on the mat to work your abs and core. Good. All right, come on up. Move my chair. Let's roll your shoulders. And then go the other way. Take your neck and your head, lean it one way, stretching the neck. We tend to tighten our neck a lot when we're doing core work. Stretch it out. Head up, other side. Smile, because you did it. We did it. Bring the head up, just drop it. I want you to think about gravity pulling on your head. Don't hold it up with your neck at all here. And head comes up, deep breath in, arm shoulder height. Exhale, one more time, deep breath in. And exhale, thank you for joining me. If you wanna do this video again, hit the thumbs up. That will put this video in your library on YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. You'll see my videos first when you open your YouTube page, okay? I want you to have a wonderful day. Keep coming back. I want you to keep working your core and working your balance. See you next time.